Let's read Psalm 79. How can we go up to the level of God's grace? It's when we are able to take his word to break our pride. Just write, break your pride. If you reach a level where people say, where is your God? You are in a process where God is taking you to your destiny. But that process works by humiliation. To deal with your pride. When God deals with your pride, He breaks you. Because he wants to establish you. So when God deals with your pride, things will never move your way. Can you tell your neighbor? When God deals with your pride, people must ask you, where is your God? I was reading Philippians 2. If we can go Philippians 2 from verse 3 to 6. Philippians 2 from verse 3 to 6. Verse 2 to 6. When you are lower down, it's How for temporal. When things are tough, it's for temporal. The Bible says your suffering of the present time cannot be compared with the glory. That shall be revealed to you. The Bible says the small things will be multiplied. Though your beginning is small, the latter end will flourish. That's what the Bible says. So you can spend time for casting on useless things. Try to maintain your pride and find yourself very tough. Allow humiliation to deal with you. It's temporary. God of mercy will see you. If you believe, say it. When the worst happened, it's for you to be shepherds. For you to be the best. You should be on top. I don't know what you're going to do. But it's for your exaltation. For your promotion. God is lifting you. He can allow that. To teach people around you. Because you, you, know, know. you, you know that God sent Jesus as an example. Whatever that is happening is temporary. Can you tell your neighbor what is happening is temporary. It does not have headaches. Allow the pride to be broken. Allow the pride to be broken. James 4. We read from verse 4 to 6. 4 to 6. Yeah, we need to know how we can be blessed. We can hold on whether it's tough or not until we find the grace. God will give us the grace. Look here, the more when you are holding on, you are humbling yourself and you will find the grace of God of going up. Don't allow yourself to go this side and that side. We must not reach a level where we have desires. You reach a level where you say, I can rather lose all because I trust my God. By doing that, you are humbling yourself, breaking your pride. There are things in you that must be before God honors you. If they don't break, you cannot be what God wants. Any scar in your life is teaching you to humble yourself and fall down and believe that when something like this happens, you will never be part of it. The mistake of the past can be a lesson to more. The mistake of the past allow it to be a lesson to more. Break your pride. Don't exalt yourself. Allow God to do it for you. If you believe, say amen. Look at Psalm 31. 
1 verse 18. Psalm 31:18. I don't understand why people can laugh at other people. Why people can laugh at this is arrogancy. If you find you are laughing at someone, you've got arrogance. You've builded something that you need to destroy. Because someone's weakness you need your ability and your strength. And now when you exercise your strength, in faithfulness, in love, you won't love. When you have got pride, you are not const you are not constant. When you have got pride, because you need to defend. You need to prove. So whoever you want to prove to is the one that you want to show you have got something. We need to reach a level where we deal with ourselves. Accept when you are wrong. We all have ability to deal with ourselves. Tell me, you have ability to deal with yourself. You are born with pride. Deal with your pride. Break it. You won't be anything. You will just stagnate yourself. Because pride stagnates you. You won't learn. You will be proving a point. It will stagnate you. It will demote you. It will fight your destiny. Look at how you are born with pride. The person of Christ is not constant. In fact, many people who have got pride, they are gossipers. They are liars. In other words, the fruit of pride is to make you to speak what you are not. To live the life that you are not. Failing to accept who you are. This is the time that you break it. And God will lift you. God bless you. Proverbs 16 verse 18. Satan will never approach you until it is food. You won't be attacked until you do something wrong. If Satan have to deal with you. Is when you invited him. Do you know what the Bible says? It's better you suffer for righteousness. Why? Because it deals with you. It takes you where God wants you to be. And he says, if you suffer with unrighteousness, what good are you going to receive? Sometimes I'm with people, I'm seeing that oh, this one favor, this one. This one favor. That one. People favor each other. Because they want to create their own group. People believe in a group. And that group mislead them. If someone is having a better ability, they will tell you. If someone is having a better ability, it is the one who will lead them. Because they want to be like that one. Always people are like that. You is better than others. They follow the person. They want to be like you. As if they will receive what that person is saying. They want to be like that. They want to be like that. As if they will receive what that person is saying. They want to be like that. The progress is not in that person. The, process, the, the progress is not to copy. The, pro, the, the progress is in you. If you want to be successful, deal with yourself. First Samuel 17. Go and read at home from verse 1 to 11. Reach a level where you break your own pride. You allow God to minister to you and deal with you. I pray that today you will expose your weakness. If you are failing to expose your own weakness, there are some things you have built wrongly. There are things that you have built wrongly. 
If you build things wrongly, they backfire on you. You have to pretend as if everything is okay. When you know that you are facing all. We are surrounded by pretenders. Because they cannot expose their weakness. I pray that today you are able to open your heart to you so that he deals with you. If you can do that, no one can, can stop you. You will live freely. I don't know if you are hearing me. If there is nothing you see, I don't know if you are If there is nothing you see, don't cry so that you see anything. It's pride. If you are, you are doing something because whereas God didn't say you must do it, you are doing it for something. <laughs> Don't cry to be a prophet. Who told you prophets must always see visions? People of God. Pride will make us do things that we cannot do. Job 35 verse 12. Job 35 verse 12. Pride is affected by the world that we are going to be able to do. We are going to be able to affect the world that we are going to be able to do. Pride will affect people, all the people that are following somebody who is doing evil. The moment, because we believe in groups, we are following somebody who is doing evil. The moment, because we believe in groups, we are going to be able to do evil. The moment, The moment when you believe in this man, you give him status, he starts to be having pride. When you are busy following, when you cry to God, because of the pride of that evil man, God will answer you.